Let's talk about it, people. What's going on guys? It is me. I'm back and this is completely different from anything I've ever done um, in the sense of I'm not here to even show you shoes. I'm just here to discuss what's happening. Um, first off, I am inside the new Kicklahoma West OKC store that opened in November. Um, so this is the backdrop for today. It is not the usual sneaker room. Like I said, this video is completely different from anything that I have ever done. But we gotta talk about some stuff, man. We definitely have to talk about some stuff. Um, I will apologize in advance if I get caught looking up in the walkway um, and seeing if somebody's gonna walk in. As well as there might be a little beep. There is an alarm in the back that keeps going off. You'll hear like a light little beep from time to time. So hopefully the mic does cut that out. But again, we gotta talk about stuff, people. Um, it happened. It happened. I didn't ever think it would happen to me, but it happened. StockX got me, or you know, StockX has been getting a lot of people. Go look at their Twitter um, replies, like search their Twitter and then go to tweet and replies. And there is person after person after person after person that is getting got. So, as most of you know, or if you're familiar with the sneaker industry, um, you know, StockX has been breached a couple of times, and time after time, people were getting got. I fell to the victim of that yesterday. Um, and you know, StockX is great. Um, they do provide, you know, a service, uh, you know, a, a service in a timely manner. Uh, they do have good and bad though. A lot of people come in the store um, and ask if, if I use StockX or if I trust StockX. Hmm, what do you think? <laughs> no. Um, and there's multiple reasons besides what's what's happened uh, within the last few hours. Um, but the main reason why I don't is because the brand has got so large um, that I feel like they have way too many people involved. Um, they have, you know, they've got to the point to where they have, I believe, way too many people probably authenticating items. Um, and it's just not a consistent look. Um, it's not a consistent, you know, verification. Um, I don't know who's verificating it, verificating it, verifying, verifying it. Um, it could it could be one of your grandmas in there. It could be somebody's mom in there. So again, I have sent stuff back to StockX, and everybody always likes to hit you with the "it's cheaper than this, it's cheaper than that, it's cheaper than that." At the end of the day, you still have to know. You still have to know what you're getting, and I think that's. The thing that's gonna happen here pretty soon with eBay is, yes, they cut out the seller fees, but do you really, really know, do you trust a seller to send you an authentic product if you don't really know? And I'm gonna explain more of that in an upcoming video as well, but I definitely wanted to reach out, let you guys know about you know this whole StockX thing. I did get got, anybody can get got, um, they bought like four pairs of shoes. They've changed my shipping address. They've actually changed my login So I don't even have access to my account. Again, I don't really use it a lot. I used it more for pricing purposes um, When trying to buy items and such um, But at the end of the day whenever I receive something from them, I have to be able to verify verify that myself um, and you know Realistically, you don't get to see it before it gets sent to you, and then you have to go through this whole process of once it does get to you, if you do need to make that return, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, with that being said, I say shop local. It might be a little bit more, but you can see, feel, touch, smell, do all the good stuff, ask questions before you buy it, and knowing what you're going to pay for and what you are going to actually receive as opposed to what might come in the mail. And then you have to go through all the processes of trying to get this money back, et cetera, et cetera. And as like, um, as we've seen, you know, your information is out there. I did get got for a couple of thousand dollars. I have been in contact with my bank, um, StockX, um, and trying to get this all figured out. 
um, but it is a very very big headache um, just be careful guys uh, maybe switch up the passwords all the time if you're not really buying if you're not active go ahead and remove your payment information just to play it safe um, but yeah hopefully it doesn't happen to anybody else I will guys keep you guys updated on what happens um, throughout this process um, and we will see you guys on the next video to discuss some interesting stuff as well until next time guys have a good holiday from Kicklahoma to you and your family we'll see you on the next one peace